time to switch off your mobile phone. At the end of the ceremony, we will all sing the national anthem together with your graduates. When the official party leaves, the graduates will follow them. Please wait until all the graduates have left the auditorium before leaving yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for your graduates.
Please be seated. <coughs> inga mana, inga reo, inga hoe fa. Tinakoto, Tinakoto, Tinakoto Kato. Vice Chancellor, Pro Chancellor, Council Members, Special Guests, Staff, Graduands, Family and Friends of Graduands. As Chancellor of the University of Auckland, I extend a warm welcome to you all on behalf of University Council Members and staff of the university. In particular, I welcome our guest speaker, Dr. Margaret Wilshire. This is a meeting of the Council of the University of Auckland for the purpose of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. This week, we will be conferring and awarding more than 7,000 qualifications on some 6,400 students, in person and in absentia. At this ceremony, 586 students will graduate in person and 152 students will graduate in absentia. This is a meeting of the Council of the University of Auckland for the purpose of, excuse me. I will be assisted in my duties today by Mr. Peter Kari, the Pro-Chancellor, in awarding diplomas and conferring degrees. This is a happy and memorable, memorable occasion for you, the graduands, as well as your families and friends who have supported you during your studies. We congratulate you all. Equally, your achievement brings pleasure and satisfaction to the academic and professional staff of the university who have played their part in your success. The graduation procession today brought academic flavor and color to the streets of Auckland. And in this ceremony, you will experience the pomp and tradition befitting your well-deserved day of celebration. Over a period of 130 years, the University of Auckland has become a comprehensive research-led university with a strong international reputation. Today, there are more than 40,000 students and 5,000 staff. Moreover, we are New Zealand's largest <coughs> research organisation with one third of the country's externally rated world-class researchers. Within New Zealand, only our university is ranked within the top 1% of the world's universities. We also have a strong commitment to Māori education. Of all the Māori degree graduates in New Zealand each year, 25% come from just one institution the University of Auckland. We jealously guard our position amongst our competitor universities and are always looking to create new opportunities for all our undergraduate and postgraduate students. Last month, we confirmed the purchase of the 5.2 hectare former Lion Brewery site in, on Kuiper Pass. This purchase will provide the university with a site for expansion over the next 50 years, contiguous with the city and Grafton campuses and with the major business area in Newmarket. We will occupy the first of the new facilities in November 2014. So as you graduate, please reflect on ongoing learning opportunities 
and consider the wide range of postgraduate options available to you at Auckland. I ask you to consider that because we can never rest on our laurels, especially in a challenging and ever-changing world. Whatever path you follow, I urge you, as the alumni of New Zealand's leading university, to never forget your alma mater. We rely on our graduates for support, moral, political and financial. Funding constraints are a perennial problem for New Zealand universities who are being asked to do more and more with less and less each year. In fact, in these hard times, we should be spending more on universities, not less. But that is enough of the substantial issues facing us all as members of a 21st century university with high aspirations. Because today is your day, with a focus firmly on your achievement. At this ceremony, we honour your success, along with the support of your family, whānau, and others who have sustained you through your studies. I congratulate you and trust that you will long cherish the memories of your graduation today. <clears throat> I am delighted to welcome as our guest speaker, Dr. Margaret Wilshire. Margaret is Chief Medical Officer of the Auckland District Health Board and an Honorary Associate Professor with the University's Faculty of Medical and Health Sciences. Margaret graduated from the University of Otago with a medical degree and then a doctorate in medicine. She did her specialist clinical training at Green Lane Hospital and then undertook doctoral studies in respiratory immunology as a Wellcome Trust Health Research Council Fellow at the National Heart and Lung Institute in London. Margaret is currently Chief Medical Officer at the Auckland District Health Board, but she also continues to practice as a respiratory physician, clinical teacher and researcher with a special interest in interstitial lung diseases. Margaret has served as a counsellor and examiner for the Royal Australian College of Physicians, as chair of the Auckland <coughs> Medical Legal Society, and contributed to a number of other professional committees. She is currently a member of the National Health Board and the Capital Investment Committee. For several months in 2012, she was joint interim, interim chief executive for Auckland District Health Board. Please welcome with me Dr. Margaret Wilshire. Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, members of the Council, members of the University, graduates, family, and friends, greetings to you all. Tena koutou katoa. Thank you very much for affording me the privilege of addressing you today, this wonderful day of celebration of our graduates' efforts and ultimate success. Congratulations to all of you out there wearing gowns for the first, or possibly second, or third time. One day you might even end up with the peacocks here on stage. <laughs> In my address today, I would like to pay a special tribute to families and acknowledge not only their support of you in your efforts and ultimate success, but the very special contribution families make to our patients' care and well-being, both in hospital and in community. Families are not visitors to our hospitals. They are advocates, caregivers, translators and counsellors. They provide a vigil at the bedside, help feed and dress their loved one, assist with showering and walking, support the administration of medications, and provide valuable information on change in clinical status. Yet, their roles are not recognised in any formal way other than as next of kin. Family members wear no name badge. They have no assigned authority, no place or private space to rest in our busy hospitals. Our signage treats them no differently to casual visitors and we restrict their access accordingly. 
Current visiting policies in our hospitals are restrictive and contribute to family and patient emotional distress. Research has shown that the presence of family members as partners in care can enhance the patient and family experience, improve the management of both acute and chronic medical problems, and reduce the risk of medical error, and save money. The recent public inquiry into shortcomings in patient care at the Mid-Staffordshire NHS Foundation Trust noted that a significant part of the Stafford story was the exclusion of relatives from effective participation in patient care. Numerous family stories are cited in the report, and I read just one of those to you. I helped to change my granddad, because as you can appreciate, to roll somebody over onto their side, they needed two people to do that, and there were not two available. There was one available, and they needed to wait. And I said, well, I will help you. And she asked me if I was a nurse, and I said no. But he is my granddad. It doesn't matter. Robert Francis, QC, and author of the report stated, I heard many cases where families had no information about their relatives, but could give some. They were not listened to during the diagnostic process. Carers of patients should not be ignored. They often have a depth of knowledge of their loved one's condition that is far greater than what staff can obtain on a brief acquaintance. He went on to say, families and friends can provide valuable support, both practical and psychological, for patients in hospital. They can provide advocacy for patients who cannot speak for themselves or are otherwise vulnerable, provide useful information to nursing and medical staff, and provide basic care. While none of these can or should be expected, where they are offered, they should be welcomed and accepted. These are not uniquely British sentiments. Beverly Johnson, CEO and President of the Institute of Patient and Family Centred Care in the US, has written extensively about the core concepts of the patient and family centred model of care. Respect and dignity, information sharing, participation and collaboration. Here in New Zealand, our hospitals are catching on to those concepts. The visitor's signs are coming down, and the welcome signs are going up. Today, as you graduate with the degree of a health professional or scientist, I ask that you take care to listen, to respect, and to acknowledge the families of your patients in whichever care or research setting you work. They will tell you much about their relatives, will connect you with the person rather than the disease, and will support you and the patient to achieve the best and most satisfying outcome. And today, of all days, take the time to acknowledge your own families, friends and support people who have helped you on your journey to graduation. Then pat yourselves on the back well done. Namihi nui, mete aroha nui. Thank you, Dr. Wilshire, for a most interesting, insightful, and challenging speech. Can I ask all of you to join with me in thanking Dr. Wilshire again? This is a meeting of council in convocation <coughs> of the University of Auckland. At which the Pro Chancellor, Peter Kiley, and I will be conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. 
I invite the Pro-Chancellor to award the diplomas and confer the degrees in the first half of this ceremony. By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Peter Kiley, Pro-Chancellor, confer the degrees and award the diplomas stated upon those who, within the faculty, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Medical Health Sciences, Professor Fraser, to present graduands in that faculty. Pro Chancellor, as Dean, I have the honor of presenting to you the students qualified for the award of a diploma or conferment of a degree in the Faculty of Medical and Health Sciences. To the Diploma on Pediatrics, Kang He Gang. <laughs> Timothy Alexander Hopgood. <clears throat> to the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Zainab Abbas. Sulasu Tezfahun Agidi. <clears throat> Lamar Adler Francis Avoa. <clears throat> Adelia Rustamovna Aslanova. Kasha Bartija. <clears throat> Angela Louise Boswell. <clears throat> Navshika Chandra. <clears throat> Yong Chi Chansavang. <clears throat> Rachel Sion Chen. Frederick Chen. <clears throat> Hannah Haley Chisholm. <clears throat> Haley Faumu. <clears throat> Sorry, Joanna Nancy Cook. <clears throat> Haley Faumu. Alexander James Angus Gee. <clears throat> Zineb Gabal. <clears throat> Thomas Martin Glynn. <clears throat> Jeram, Jeram Andrew Hill. <clears throat> Yun Hyun Kim. Ronan Vigizi Kuriam. <clears throat> Michelle Yin E. Lin. <clears throat> Rowena Mahesh. <clears throat> Ruben Jensen Malloy. <clears throat> Gemma Milvena Malunahu. Ji Hu Min. <clears throat> Lena Nai. <clears throat> Samuela Malakai Mahunu Mahuniu of Okinawa. <clears throat> Shalom Susanna Leone Akense.
Sophie Bess Aluf. Andy Piertau. Nolene Rati Prasad. Rebecca Fleur Ryan. Valeria Sofarova. Malundi Schlaber. Isaac Pian Smith. Nicholas Sue. Alana Juliet Supin. To the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Aisha Binti Amanudin. <laughs> Lanit Satya Kumar Anand. <laughs> Sulakshanan Ananda Baskaran. <laughs> Sidi Gopal Ayer. <laughs> Emily Bridget Bailey. Joshua Mark Bellhorn. <laughs> Natasha Bansal. <laughs> Marla Christine Bennett. <laughs> Nicola Jane Best. <laughs> Faiza Yunus Biku. Tamara Lee Mildred Birchall. <laughs> Catherine Ann Bolton. <laughs> Chun Yan Boon. <laughs> Claire Johanna Bratford. <laughs> Melanie Jane Cameron. Sue Fei Chan. <laughs> Usha Nair Chandra Sikharan. <laughs> Ashley Chun Cheung. <laughs> Tony Xing Tung Chu. Hyun Min Choi. <laughs> Senior Scholar, Medical and Health Sciences, Jimmy Guanghui Chong. <laughs> Hannah Jane Cooper. <laughs> Rayleigh Ann Cooper. Kamani Delawas. <laughs> Senior Scholar, Medical and Health Sciences. Senior Scholar in Medicine and Surgery, Horatio Roberto Di Bartolo. <laughs> Laura Jane Downey. <laughs> Thomas David John Evans. Sophie Jane Wellwood Fargo. <laughs> Senior Scholar in Medicine and Surgery. Wait. <laughs> Ashley Sarah Fraser. <laughs> Michael Jeffrey Fraser. Pinasamani Funaki. Yeah. 
Michael Earl Fennell. <laughs> Madeline Margaret G. <laughs> Scott Dion Gilbert. <laughs> Vaishnavi Nyana Sumpanthan. <laughs> Timothy Luke Godwin. Joshua Owen Griffiths. <laughs> Charles Yao Chen Ho. <laughs> Celia Lucy Hunter. <laughs> Jamie Hunter Yuani. Sarah Louise Catherine Jack. <laughs> Divya Lakshmi Jamalamadaka. <laughs> Matthew Stewart Jeans. <laughs> Kathleen Waimirarangi Joyce Rewati. Anna Yayun Kang. Georgia Iris Kenny. Ann Jiung Kim. Alexander David King. Phoebe Shen Yang Ko. Lada Kordich. <laughs> Yi San Lai. <laughs> Sharon Lam Wei Ling. <laughs> Q Hyun Lee. Senior Scholar, Medical and Health Sciences, Yin Hui Li. <laughs> Bonnie Wan Si Leung. <laughs> David Hyun Wu Lin. <laughs> Ki Ping Lim. Sui Lin. <laughs> Edward Lo Xiong Chi. <laughs> Darren Alistair Lowe's. <laughs> Dixon Louis. <laughs> Andrew Allen McDonald. Emma Amanda McDonald Laws. <laughs> Gayani Salmia Malawa Arachi. <laughs> Lara Elsie Manson. <laughs> Holly Ann McCullum. <laughs> Torrance Richard Merkel. Senior Scholar in Medicine and Surgery, Sarah Ann Mary. <laughs> Manisha Moambai Mystery. <laughs> Pulasti Mithra Rutna. <laughs> Teresa Bittenmeyer. Lucina Elizabeth Nahid Schuster. Lisa Ann Newby.
Michael Hugh Ng. Milton Gum Cheng Ng. Kelsey Brooke Nichols. Kiria Judith Nielsen. Michael Robert Nottingham. Hua In Ong. Eileen Mary O'Reilly. Alice Ruling Pan. Hai Wan Park. Marie Helen Catherine Park. Deepak Kantilal Patel. Jessica Catherine Payne. Ashwini Ravi Kumar Pondicherry. Venisi Havili Prescott. Norman Park Ping Quick. Charlotte Emma Ray. Thomas Matthew Reynolds. Kate Lana Richardson. Beth Abigail Robertson. Juven Joseph Rumiani. Dane Calvai Rua. Mustafa Safi. Kylie Jane Salt. Maud Azam Hafifi Samsudan. Kai Shing So. Cameron Kin Jun Manfred Shaw. Ruchira Sanjaya Felix Sinavaratni. James Allen Douglas Shand. Laila Sheikh. Hui Ling Si. Araha Dora Siilata. Victoria Catherine Syriot. Jennifer Claire Stevens. Ramanan Suganisagram. <laughs> Jin Wei Tan. <laughs> Sarah I Ting Tan. <laughs> Prayusha Tangarala. Angela Hugh Hugh Tay. <laughs> Vivian Sok Wang Tay. <laughs> Ch 
Jordan Beale Thompson. Cecilia Mary Verrett. Toby Stephen Verrett. Ellen Wang. Kit Lun Wang. Ying Chun Wei. Rebecca Jane White. Samuel James Whitaker. Susan Tar Whitaker. Christian Joseph Weiser. Yin Guo Wong. Ki Hong Wong. Ting Wai Bernard Wong. Andrew Stephen Keith Woodhead. <laughs> Esther Miriam Wilson. <laughs> Celine Caro Antronek Yildizian. <laughs> Edwin Chun Chung Yip. Kelvin Yuto Yao. <laughs> Mohammed Redzuan Zarul Hassan. <laughs> Shirun Jang. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Nursing, Natasha Mary Allen. Lauren Rose Atwood. <laughs> Catherine Baker. <laughs> Abby Marie Blackburn. <laughs> Chelsea Julia Branham. <laughs> Joanna May Burnett. Emma Jean Chittenden. <laughs> Senior Scholar, Medical and Health Sciences, Stephanie Nicole Davies. <laughs> Denise Ann De La Cruz. <laughs> Sarah Jean Denmark. Maria Carola de Souza. <laughs> Martin Deploy. <laughs> Renee Zena, England. <laughs> Hamish Alexander Esselman Klo. Fedora Divya Fernandez. <laughs> Serena Ashley Fisher. <laughs> Ashley Mary Freeth. <laughs> Amy Marjorie Johnston. Jessica Rose Jones. Kate Helen Landon. Arita Lee. Shan Ling Lee. Li. 
Song Yi Lim. Grace Godwin Mascarenas. Erika Rangi Chantel Matapo. Mariam Math. Vanessa Eleanor May Henley. Laura Ellen McCann. Alison Lynette McGuire. <laughs> Kiri Moana Mead. <laughs> Yatika Mystery. <laughs> Nicole Moodley. Julia Louise Murray. <laughs> Erica May Sim Ng. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Siti Hawa Binti Nawi. <laughs> Erica May Sim Ng. Annie Delphia Salamasina Nicholas. <laughs> Elsie Dian Kairong O. <laughs> Stacy Lee Onikawa. <laughs> Katrina Ann Oswald. Sarah Ann Pace. <laughs> Kyun Mi Park. <laughs> Senior Scholar, Medical and Health Sciences, Elizabeth Mary Petrie. <laughs> Dana Mary Laguno Purificacion. Lycan Rebecca Anastasia Rowley. <laughs> Emma Claire Scott. <laughs> Zin Yi Shi. <laughs> Hema Manisha Singh. Erin <laughs> Teresa Skidmore. Laura Kate Steele. Vincent Paul Sewer. Laura Jane Swan. Lydia Rhiannon Taylor. Catherine Ann Terry. Charlotte Emily Thorne. Noriko Sunoda. Lillian Louis Lakipa. Sandra Catalina Venegas Velez. Gemma Elizabeth Veal. Faye Alice Veloria. Marianne Angelique Castromero Villanueva. Verity Ann Wally. <laughs> Anita Joan Witter. <laughs> Wendy
Wendy Fu Yin Wu. <laughs> Ellie Yu Chen Zi. <laughs> Chin Yi Jia Ye. <laughs> Nami Yu. <laughs> Anne Yu. Tinaka Maria Christina Wilhelmina Ziegler. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Optometry with First Class Honours, Prashant Krishna Prajnana Bhupendra. <laughs> Minil Chotu. Kieran Albert Chong. Akilesh Gokul. Hayden Ng. Senior Scholar, Medical and Health Sciences, An Tian Vu Tran. Lin Wei Xu. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Optometry with Second Class Honours First Division, Katie Angela Bennett. <laughs> Avijit Bomish. <laughs> Song Soy. Louise Sonia Edwards. <laughs> Hui Chia Hao. <laughs> Jessica Evelyn McDowell. <laughs> Jiaping Lui. <laughs> Jennifer Lindsay Lowe. Hayden James Miller. <laughs> Kanimali Sukumaran. <laughs> Barbara Famuelan. <laughs> Julia Louise Walker. <laughs> Tanisha Rebecca Watt. Melina May Young. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Optometry with Second Class Honours Second Division, Suede Hasnain Adil. <laughs> Jenna Ray Edwards. <laughs> Yubin Lee. Yung Sang Lee. Ice Liu. Dan Dan Lu. Shankamoy Maiti. Vanessa Monique Maskell. Hern Chi Ng. <laughs> Yana Makovna Pierce. <laughs> Sushi Ranthod. <laughs> Jayasundara Arachige Nadishika Rushani Sidan Hipathi. Maliha Kanum Surab.
Jun Hyung Suk. Amy Su Yang Wang. Kai Tin Yang. Mark Zung Zhu. Thank you, Pro Chancellor, for conferring the degrees and awarding the diplomas in the first half of this ceremony. One of the great pleasures of graduation is the opportunity to hear performances by students from our acclaimed School of Music. Bradley Wood will now perform Toccata in D minor, Opus 11, by Sergei Prokofiev.
Thank you, Bradley, for that brilliant performance. Can I ask you all to join with me in thanking Bradley again? By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Ian Parton, Chancellor, award the diplomas and confer the degrees stated upon those who, within the Faculty of Medical and Health Sciences, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I now call upon the head of the School of Nursing, Associate Professor Kilpatrick, to present further graduands in the faculty. To the degree of Bachelor of Optometry, Angat Bundapung Singh Bumbra. <laughs> Dahi Kim. <laughs> Yun A. Kim. Sir <laughs> Hyun Lee. Bai Po Leong. <laughs> Samuel Isaac Surikant Musuku. <laughs> Byron Robert Peters. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Pharmacy with first class honours. Yu Gao. Senior Scholar, Medical and Health Sciences, Rachel Diane Cooper. <laughs> Yu Gao. <laughs> Shui Wei Khan. <laughs> Yuang Li. <laughs> Yui Lu. Sees Yui Nai. Amanda Louise Polwyn. Elizabeth Jane Waterhouse. Hana Yu. To the degree of Bachelor of Pharmacy with Second Class Honours, First Division, Ben L. Attar. <laughs> Anne Nalushka Amishing. <laughs> Zayed Akwari. <laughs> Tarika Marie Ansana. Kivu Vijay Bula. <laughs> Yayong Kong Shen. <laughs> Arun Choi. <laughs> Bob Hung Choi. <laughs> Michael Timothy Hammond. Rachel Ann Hooker. <laughs> Ala Galeb Hussan Kamona. <laughs> Janice Kim. <laughs> Jinhee Kim. <laughs> Rupalai Lau. Minhi Lee. <laughs> Lee. 
Yitin Ling Lim. Sophie Marie McCarthy. Laura Mary Moynihan. Maria Petkovic. Fazar Fahana Rashid. Talisha Reddy. Christine Isabel Sustento Rubio. Cara Marie Patricia Taylor. Kevin Zhu. Sin Sil Yang. To the degree of Bachelor of Pharmacy with second class honours, second division. Miriam Hussain Almasur. Mohammed Al Madulal. Azita Bebe. Kamlika Bezju. Essa Barakaji. Karishma Parish Bula. Jessica Amy Louise Birkin. <laughs> Daphne Ling Chi Chan. <laughs> Jing Chan. <laughs> Tony Shi Chi Ding. <laughs> Reem L. Bayati. Emil Farjan. Christine Ha. Anstey Shay Hassant. Alice Yan Yu Hu. Rania Ramiz Iskander. <laughs> Moses Jin. <laughs> Shen Yu Kang. <laughs> Tekwa Yu Kim. Sarah Korakui. <laughs> Nicholas Wing Wai Kwan. <laughs> da Yang Li. <laughs> Pikshan Li. <laughs> Susan Li. Jenna Xiang Yi Luong. <laughs> Lorena Ying Lu. <laughs> Jenny Louie. <laughs> Nikita Maharendra. <laughs> Mahyadazi Williard Maroa. Zong Hong Pan. <laughs> Song Won Park. <laughs> Crystal Pillay. <laughs> Ella.
Eya Shaka. Lena Shesha. Amy Shin. Grace Keezing Sue. Young Ki Song. Matthew James Sue. Samantha Sufiad. David Huey Yu Ting. Manchan Tong. Ginny Lee Ching Chong. Nelson Wu. Young Juan Yu. Johan Hinson Hao Yu. Wang Zhang. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Pharmacy, Marwa Sayed Abdulkirim Al Asainki. <laughs> hey Won Chao. <laughs> Jin Ho Chao. Sun Ho Shao. <laughs> Julia Ting Ho. <laughs> si Ha Huen. <laughs> Su Yon Hyon. <laughs> Su Mi Ying Yang. Nikita Kapoor. <laughs> Hamit Kaur. <laughs> Mabushra Khanam Khan. <laughs> Young Min Khan Kim. <laughs> Kwang He Lee. Hongman Lee. <laughs> Rachel Ching Hua Lo. <laughs> Brett Thomas Edwin Tompkins. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, conjoint. Sunni Ha Shao Chand and a Bachelor of Arts. Richard Chen and a Bachelor of Laws. <laughs> Joseph Daniel Paxson Della Cruz and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Melissa Chrysler Tabios Domingo and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Fairgray and a Bachelor of Commerce. Giorgio Margaret Gimmel and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Brendan Carl Graf and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Yuchin Liu and a Bachelor of Nursing. <laughs> Nicola Lee Mitchell and a Bachelor of Arts. Pre runner Sandhu and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Jibin Hasu and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> to the 
to the degree of Bachelor of Nursing conjoint. Anna Megan Ahern and a Bachelor of Health Sciences. <laughs> Tessa Joseph Atwood and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Madeline Claire Chapman and a Bachelor of Health Science. <laughs> Jessica Ann Palmer and a Bachelor of Health Science. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Clinical Education. Sarah Jane O'Hara. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Health Psychology, Heidi Julia Baxter. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Health Sciences with Distinction, Bernadette Maria Busman in Advanced Nursing. Yvonne Marie Stephanie Clearwater in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> April McFarland in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Marjorie Jeanette Murphy Bishop in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Bronwyn Francis, Francis Pester in Advanced Nursing. Postgraduate Diploma in Health Sciences with Merit. Gladys Ozor Arua in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Sahul Pavan Kumar Shaplot in Pharmaceutical Science. <laughs> Deborah Ann Crompton in Advanced Nursing. Mitamaru Daniel Atulou in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Devi Riani Delicia in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Pauline Leah Fakalata. <laughs> Catherine Patricia Folks in Advanced Nursing. Katrina Ann Fraser in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Heidi Umal Geronimo in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Patricia June Hastings in Men <laughs> Melina Hernandez Gazumdo in Advanced Nursing. I'm sorry, Melina. Patricia June Hastings in Mental Health Nursing. <laughs> Robert John Hawker in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Rebecca Louise Hayward in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Tina Hopkins in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Carla Marie Holrabon in Advanced Nursing. Shija Joseph in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Catherine Bradley King in Mental Health Nursing. <laughs> Thaisen Co in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Lorraine Mabdukama in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Karen Lynette Merritt in Social Work. A. Murakami in Health Informatics. <laughs> Sipo Nadilavu in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Paula Marie Natai in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Bede Wantu Pudin Ruth in Advanced Nursing. Jacqueline Marion Roberts in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Rogers in Child and Adolescent Mental Health. <laughs> Deepa Sasturan in Advanced Nursing. 
Esther Kylan C in Pharmaceutical Science. Amy Lee Walsh in Advanced Nursing. Isabella Joanna Wright in Advanced Nursing. Postgraduate Diploma in Health Sciences, Raquel Amidi Barabellini in Alcohol and Drug Studies. <laughs> Raywin June Bell in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Zafia Mehanens Bibi in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Desalyn Ebenez Chrysologo Bawaka in Advanced Nursing. Lalindra Devi Chand in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Linda Chika Z in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Patricia Chikarima in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Krishna Mohan Chitamala in Pharmaceutical Science. <laughs> William Chazu in Advanced Nursing. Yvonne Edith Martha Cunningham in Alcohol and Drug Studies. <laughs> Suelo Stephen DeLab in Mental Health Nursing. <laughs> Ray Juni in Mental Health Nursing. <laughs> Irene Rita Bali Kent in Advanced Nursing. Madeline Isabel Marie Kerr in Alcohol and Drug Studies. <laughs> Misok Kim in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Eileen Carol Kirby in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Raja Nasini Lata Kishore in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Jeremy Lai in Health Informatics. Yvonne J. Lee Lau in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Kaming Lin in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Taniri Wee Jessica Maninstria in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Mana Mami Nair in Advanced Nursing. Olivia Mandapar Nadovla in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Valerie Ann O'Gorman in Youth Health. <laughs> Victoria Timilad Oiki in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Leslie Gwyneth Pitches in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Chuck and Tulala. Debbie Pressard in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Arena Devi Raju in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Fiona Evelyn Seacup in Advanced Nursing. Yeah. <laughs> Senin Jita Devi Singh in Advanced Nursing. Tan Ping On in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Newman Thomas in Health Informatics. <laughs> Barbara Jane Travers in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Marguerite Elizabeth Joanna Van Dern Westenhausen in Advanced Nursing. Anne-Marie Voss in Mental Health Nursing. <laughs> Huan Zhang in Advanced Nursing. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Pharmacy Practice with Merit. Yunyan Su. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Public Health with Distinction. Arinda Rahia Manuel in Maori Health. Postgraduate Diploma in Public Health with Merit, Elizabeth Carolyn Alley. 
Where... <laughs> University Graduate Scholar, Cynthia Ann Lisa Dash in Pacific Health. <laughs> Charles Hasano O. <laughs> Ashwini Ellison Kalkani. <laughs> Catherine Naju Nogoani. Fei Yu. Postgraduate Diploma in Public Health. Liliana Motomota Atola in Pacific Health. Fakabamotoe Lutu E. Sanita Sharon Manoa. Mayor Tapuna Venemaroa Meteo. Elisa Tuhoa Puna in Pacific Health. Nilish Ni Singh. Dapika Sonia. Kimberly Rhea Stainhouse in Pacific Health. <laughs> Afu Halavalu Mama Inala Tofoa in, in Public Health. Pacific Health. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Sports Medicine with Merit. Karen Ratana. To the degree of Bachelor of Health Science Honours with First Class Honours. Ali L. Jamal and a Bachelor of Health Sciences. <laughs> Mary Sophie Kerridge. <laughs> Iya Muhammad Salah Al Din Muhammad Musa. Talisi Mafi Totai Poluka. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Medical Sciences Honours with First Class Honours, Cameron John Fraser. <laughs> University Graduate Scholar, Kerry Tai Kuma, and a Bachelor of Medicine and a Bachelor of Surgery. University Graduate Scholar, Quilang Lu. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Health Science with First Class Honours. Jeff, Jennifer Margaret Boudreau. <laughs> Briar Campbell. <laughs> Emma Louise Duckworth. To the degree of Master of Health Sciences with Second Class Honours, First Division, Robin Lee Allen. <laughs> Jason Alexander Harley. <laughs> Terence Robert Rings. <laughs> Pauline Tucker. <laughs> Yang Yu and a postgraduate diploma in health sciences with distinction in pharmaceutical science. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Health Science with second class honours, second division. Sarama, Saram Bihara. <laughs> Petronella Rufaro Musikiwa. Marie Niklam Wama. <laughs> Victoria Joy Tomlin. <laughs> T. 
to the degree of Master of Health Sciences, Veronica Mary Cherritt. Alice Adele Redwood. To the degree of Master of Medical Science with First Class Honours, Jeannie Susan Oliphant. To the degree of Master of Nursing with First Class Honours, Christopher James Elridge. <laughs> Catherine Jean Beasley. <laughs> Jamai Jing. <laughs> Tipora Pesetta. To the degree of Master of Nursing with Second Class Honours First Division, Denise Ann Beachy. <laughs> Tanya Lee Bish. <laughs> Crystal Rose O'Neill. <laughs> Rachel Louise Pretorius and a postgrad diploma in Health Sciences with Merit in Advanced Nursing. Hayley Peter Scott. <laughs> Colleen Judith Turnwald and a postgrad diploma in health sciences with distinction in mental health nursing. <laughs> Maria Teresa Wainen. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Nursing with second class honours, second division, Jennifer Ruth Cameron. Julie Jan Romata Dewhurst. <laughs> Tracy Forward. <laughs> Margaret Patricia Hand. <laughs> Young Hua Lu. <laughs> Susan Wendy Moyle. Shirley Elizabeth Ross. <laughs> Suzanne Carol Smith. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Nursing, Ruhapatiya Napara Karana. To the degree of Master of Pharmacy Practice for Second, second Class Honours, Second Division. Karen Linda Dunning. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Public Health with First Class Honours, Gillian Kaur Balbeer Singh. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Public Health with Second Class Honours, First Division, Jenna Lauren Clark. Susan Mary Zimmerman. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Public Health with Second Class Honours, Second Division, Peter John Cleland. <laughs> and Kava Iwa Li Poto Fuavoa. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor to present the doctoral graduands. Chancellor, I have the honour of presenting to you the doctoral graduands. To the degree of Doctor of Medicine, Gerard Patrick Devlin. Jerry developed a model of heart failure which examined the effects of insulin-like growth factors following a heart attack. He demonstrated that administration of these factors improved heart muscle function. Jerry. Okay. 
everyone later. Song Chen in Pharmacy. Song developed and evaluated a novel colonic delivery system for probiotic bacteria. The system can be used to deliver more health-promoting lactic acid bacteria in their living form to the human colon and prolong their retention in this region. Joshua Jeremy Connolly in Pathology. Joshua investigated the processes that initiate cell death in plant cells following nutrient limitation, with potential application to improving growth of crops in poor soils and increasing the shelf life of produce. Kate Elizabeth Fossey in Health Psychology. Kate investigated some of the psychological factors that contributed to a medication change health scare with a view to better managing future medication switches. <laughs> Teresa Margaret Fleming in Health Sciences, Bright Future Top Achiever Doctoral Scholar. Teresa co-developed the Sparks Computerised Therapy Programme for Adolescent Depression, which has recently received United Nations and UNESCO awards. Her research demonstrated that the acceptability and effectiveness of this approach for adolescents who are alienated from mainstream education and have unmet mental health needs. Kerry Leanne Freeman in Community Health. Kerry investigated the health and habitus of a Finnish community in New Zealand through narratives across three generations. She found that even if people are generically characterised as white, their unique habitus may influence the way they think, act and feel about health in ways not predicted by policy or ethnic categorisation. Deborah Louise Harris in nursing. Deborah's research investigated low blood sugar levels in newborn babies, a common problem that can lead to brain damage. Her research developed new ways of detecting and treating this problem that will improve care for babies and their families, as well as save healthcare costs around the world. Catherine Sarah Jones in Pharmacology, University Doctoral Scholar. Catherine investigated how stem cells in the adult brain respond to injury and how they can be manipulated to repair damaged brain regions. She discovered that specific proneural genes can stimulate brain regeneration at time points where previously no repair has been observed. Nancy Nyinjie Jong in Pharmacology. Nancy investigated the role of a family of membrane transporters in the treatment limiting adverse effect of the platinum based anti cancer drug oxaloplatin. This was done with a view to developing potential treatments for this unwanted side effect and improving patient outcomes from oxaloplatin based chemotherapy. Charlotte Ann Jordan, an ophthalmology, university doctoral scholar. Charlotte investigated new methods for diagnosing keratoconus in the eye and successfully trialled a new surgical technique to halt or slow progression of the disease. Emma Isabel Kay in Physiology, University Doctoral Scholar. 
MRI identified new and varied effects of melanocortin-2 receptor accessory protein alpha on the function of all five melanocortin receptors. This could open new avenues for studying and treatment human diseases that are caused by a defective melanocortin receptors, for example, some forms of early onset obesity. Anasita Gigi Lim in nursing. Gigi's research investigated the journeys of both medical and non-medical prescribers as learners and as prescribers. This study showed that although the starting points differ, the journeys of both nurses and doctors as beginner prescribers are similar. They begin as novices and over time develop skills of reasoning as they gain more clinical experience in prescribing. business now. Heiting Kong in biomedical science. Heiting investigated the fundamental mechanisms that underlie cardiac excitation contraction coupling, in particular the activation and termination of calcium induced calcium release. It is hoped that by understanding these processes in health, we will be better placed to recognize and target abnormalities that occur during the progression of heart disease. Heiting. Philip Campbell Logan in Biomedical Science. Philip investigated the epigenetic mechanism of DNA methylation to see whether it is involved in turning stromal cells into decidual, cell, decidual cells in the uterus every month during the menstrual cycle. His findings may improve our understanding of human infertility, miscarriage, pathologies of pregnancy, and endometriosis. Colin C.Y. Mack, an anatomy university doctoral scholar. Colin investigated in detail the largest and densest population of stem cells in the human brain, which has never been described before. These stem cells are a potential source for new brain cells to repair damaged areas of patients with neurodegenerative disease. Helen Ann Malcolm in nursing. Helen's study has re revealed significant implications for the aging population. The apparent dislocation between government policies, funding of disability support services, and the adequate numbers of nurses and carers points to a substantial challenge for the provision of services that meet the needs of the increasing numbers of older people. James Alexander McKelvey, an ophthalmology, university doctoral scholar. James investigated an alternative to corneal transplantation for the treatment of corneal blindness. His research focused on using human stem cell implants to reconstruct the cornea in inherited disease. Nathaji Munaraj in molecular medicine. Nathaji investigated the role of trefoil factor 1 in gastric carcinoma and determined that inhibition of this growth factor may be useful in the treatment of this disease. His findings have contributed to the preclinical development of an inhibitory antibody targeting trefoil factor 1. 
Keith Raymond Pine in optometry. Keith investigated the problem of Keith. <laughs> Keith investigated the problem of excessive mucoid discharge experienced by many wearers of artificial eyes. His research resulted in the development of clinical methods for measuring the response of the socket to a prosthetic eye and an evidence-based protocol for managing the discharge. Keith. Ralph Schnabel in psychiatry. Ralph developed an innovative procedure for identifying distractibility in patients with brain injury. In a large clinical sample, it was determined that the new procedure contributes significantly to differential diagnosis and validity of the assessment. Ralph. John David Slaughter in Community Health. John's research has added knowledge to better inform obesity interventions and measurement of obesity. His study showed that BMI has limited usefulness in quantifying fatness and suggests that in order to more accurately reflect fatness, BMI cutoff points for defining obesity may need to be ethnic specific. Claire Judith Stones in pathology. Claire's project involved genetic analysis of melanoma cells from the Auckland Cancer Society Research Centre and an examination of the response of the cells to drugs developed for treating melanoma cells according to their genetic profile. Priyadashi Tiwari in Health Sciences, University Doctoral Scholar. Priyadashi investigated principles of application of social robots as assistive technologies to help older people live independently and manage their health. His work iteratively evaluated and contributed to the design of a series of prototype robots for improving the self-management of medication by older people. Priyadashi. Nolene Beryl-White in Nursing, University Doctoral Scholar. Nolene implemented a benchmarking initiative across residential care for older people, and within this environment undertook a randomised control trial evaluating a quality improvement programme. Her findings have been used to implement similar initiatives across New Zealand. Andrew James Wood in surgery. Andrew studied the underlying cause of chronic sinusitis. His research has helped to further define the role of bacteria in this challenging condition. <clears throat> Xiaobin Jan in molecular medicine, university doctoral scholar. Xiaobin investigated the cellular and molecular mechanisms of the antivascular agent DMXAA on human umbilical vein endothelial cells cultured on tumour extracellular matrix. The project has demonstrated that DMXAA influences the endothelial cell cytoskeleton assembly and the cell signalling transmission, which may explain its vas vascular disruption effect in cancer treatment. Yongji Zhao in pharmacy. Yongji investigated the development of a controlled release drug delivery system used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. Yongji. <clears throat> Ji 
and in absentia all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a degree or the award of a diploma in the Faculty of Medical and Health Sciences. We are now nearing the conclusion of this ceremony. So on behalf of the university, I invite all of today's graduates to stand and receive the congratulations of us all. This would also be a good time for the graduates to show their appreciation of their families and supporters and the staff of the university who, who have helped them as they achieved their qualifications. Thank you. This concludes this meeting of council and convocation of the university for the conferment of degrees and the award of diplomas. I now invite you to sing the first verse of God Defend New Zealand in Māori, then in English. The words are printed on the reverse of your programme. 